Hello, party people. I've always wanted to say that in my videos. Sorry if the glare is like super bad on my glasses today. I don't know how to stop the glare. But anyways, okay, so I'm starting a cleaning vlog. Because I need to clean this room because it's... Yeah, there's stuff everywhere. I was about to say a dirty word. But um, there's stuff everywhere. So we're going to clean today. I haven't done one of these in a while. And I mentioned in one of my other videos that I was going to do another cleaning video. So, um, like this side, like that side of the room over there is a hot mess. This side over here isn't that bad. I have to take some books, like, so this stack of books right there, I have to take that back downstairs because it's, um, those are books that go on my bookshelf downstairs. Bookshelf that I have downstairs are my favorite books that I like to show everybody. The books that are up here are like they're they are like I like them most of them are books that I have not read yet but some of them don't fit downstairs because I only have one bookshelf downstairs and it's not that big but um so yeah that's the plan for today I have bought let me turn you this way so that right there don't look at my desk please but this right here is a like a bench and I wanted to get a bench to put in front of my bigger bookshelf that I have over here on that side of the room um so we're gonna see if it fits because I didn't measure it before I bought it per usual but it has like well, you'll see it in a second yeah okay 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 so this is the oh. This is the bench that I bought for this side of the room. And if you don't remember, I have those little things. See, 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 all that. But I'm planning on moving these in front of the window that you don't really get to see because of the, um, because, you know, you won't be able to see me if I'm not in front of the window. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. I'm going to see if that fits over there. I don't I, I have a feeling that's not going to, but we're going to make it work. Since I don't use one of these closet doors over here. Um, but yeah, we're going to get all this stuff fixed. And I think I might rearrange some of my books. Because as you know, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I've been doing a lot of book hauls. I've been buying a lot of books lately, so. So what I'm doing right now is just organizing my books depending or based on their genre like I'd normally do. So right now this is romance, this is thrillers, this is like fantasy because this is a fantasy book, why fantasy book. Then I have some literary fiction right here. So um, that's what I'm doing. I also put my horror books like this along with the thrillers because you know it has that thriller aspect to it anyways so that's why I did that in case you were wondering Charles decided to step on this book so that happened as you can see I have a lot more romance books than I have anything I got this book in the mail from the author to do a review not realizing that it was the third book in a series so I haven't got to read this yet because I haven't read the other three and evidently you have to read the other two to understand this one so it is on Kindle Unlimited um, if you're wondering it's Rico Stays by Ed Duncan I uh, can't remember what the other three are titled at this moment Yes, I could be talking to you like this. I can't remember what the other three are, or what the other two are titled at this moment, but I did look and they are on 
Kindle Unlimited, so I am going to read them that way. So I can read that and review it. It's supposed to be a uh, like a detective based thriller. So. And these are all books that I've already hauled. Most of them. I have more books downstairs that I haven't hauled yet. So I'm probably going to end up doing another haul before it's all over with. Have y'all read this yet in five years? By Rebecca Sell. Well, that's not how you say her name. Rebecca Serrell. I have heard so so things about this. It's very short. I don't know. Put that in my fantasy pile. The other day I was like I have nothing to read and then I was like well I do have a whole <laughs> room upstairs that's nothing but books so and my husband looked at me like I was crazy so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna move like stuff around to see if it's gonna fit since you just sat here and watched me for five minutes going through books but um, I am gonna move some stuff around and you don't need to see that because I have technical difficulties. It fit. It fit. I didn't think it was gonna fit. It's a little, it's a little long on the edges right here. Like it covers up the um, crap or the molding on the around the doors, but it fits. What? Eh. Hey. And it has this nice little cushion that matches my chair that y'all see me sit in front of and film all the time. So. Yay! I'm excited. It fits. So, if you can't, or you, yeah, you can see. So it has these um, like little cubby holes that I'm gonna put more books down there, or more it's more storage for books, basically. So you might see me film in front of this too, since now I have like an actual chair that I don't have to move around my room. Um, but yeah, so excited about this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, bring some books from upstairs, from downstairs up here. Um, start arranging these down here, which I'll probably speed up so you don't have to sit through all that. And then I also bought some um, fake succulents to go in front or to go behind my desk. So I'll bring those up too after I bring books up. Alright, so I'm going to unbox with you some of the things that I got for this room just to make it a little bit more appealing, like on the eyeballs. So I got some twinkle lights. I was going to put them on my bookshelf, like string them up around my bookshelf, but then I remembered it's going to look weird because my bookshelves aren't attached. So I might just put them around like maybe this or have a hair or maybe like around my little boxes that I have like my storage boxes that have all my literature like my teaching literature books in them so I don't know but little twinkle lights I thought they were cute they plug up in the wall and they have a little remote thingy with them and then I picked up what is this Oh, these are the artificial plants that I got. So I like succulents. I like the way they look and I like how low maintenance they are. But low maintenance plants I still can't keep alive. My air plants that I have on my other shelf over there where you see me film in front of all the time are dying. And I don't know why because I water them when they're supposed to. And they get like the sunlight that it's recommended to get and everything like that. So uh, who knows. 
just don't have that green thumb aspect. But I got these succulents because some of them are, you know, some of them are like pinky color and then we have just plain green ones and everything. I'm not going to take all of them out of the bag. But it was a pack of 15 for like 25 bucks, so on Amazon, so I didn't think that was too bad. So I got those, and those are for the hangers that I got to go in, um, like behind my desk over here, which you will probably see later, like in like a picture or something, because I would have to use a drill, and I'm not good with drills. And then I bought a five pound bag of rocks to fill up my little hangers that I got. And then I'm assuming that these are the succulents. Yes. The more succulents. I bought a bunch because I, I want to incorporate some downstairs as well in my house. Ooh, and these aren't in bags. So. Again, these are just like little succulent plants. These are all green. I wanted uh, kind of a variation of colors, so I bought a, whole, a lot of green ones. This one's heavy. Bought green ones, and then I bought some ones like you saw that had the pink. Oh, this is cute. It's a little cute. It's a cute little bud. Okay, so yeah, that's the succulents that I got. And then the hangers that I got. I hope they're pretty because in the pictures they look really pretty and they come very nicely packaged so hopefully nothing got broken because y'all heard me talk about my male person she just likes to sling stuff up on my porch so they have a little styrofoam thing oh yes these are cute they're bigger than I thought they were gonna be so they're white ceramic and then they have a faux leather strap on them and then they have like little brass buttons on the side but these are gonna be adorable yes I like these and they hang flush to the wall which I really wanted these are cute win 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 oh and let me show you the little hanger things that I got for them did I bring those up yeah. oh please So since I have wood accents in here, like with the trail legs that you never see over there, it's just for aesthetic. So I got these little hanger things that don't hang, they kind of hang like this on the wall. Well, you can't see that, but they kind of hang up like this on the wall. One of those, and I think they'll look really pretty against the tan strap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna look, that's gonna look cute. I like it. So yeah, that's just something that I want to do to add more greenery to this room because it is very white and it is has a lot of wood to it and like tan colors and stuff like that. So I want a little color variation if you get what I'm saying. But again, you probably won't see that until my hubby gets home because I don't trust myself with the drill. So I put all my romance right here on this shelf and then I put, well there's one romance book right here that couldn't fit right here, but then I put all my thrillers and I have one literary fiction book that is supposed to kind of have like a gothic -y feel to it. It's the Count of Monte Cristo. So um, I put that down here as well. So this shelf besides one has thrillers this is 
literary fictiony like love fiction literary fiction that has romance what anyways romance thriller don't know don't know yet but I do have other books that I have to haul so I'll probably go right there and I did put one book up here but we've already talked about that book so oh I forgot two books so these are gonna go on the shelf that doesn't have anything they're both kind of fantasy aspect sort of one's magical realism one's fantasy so they'll they'll do right there I lied <laughs> I had a, I had, there's another stack over there so I'm just gonna since since these shelves are already full, I'm just going to put these kind of like with their genre on this shelf right here. Where am I going to put all these books? Can somebody tell me that? Where am I going to put all of them? So this is what the wall over here looks like with the new bookshelf or bench I should say. So that's what that looks like. I think I might move those books over here on this shelf because this shelf is more literary fiction that I would use like in the classroom or something. And a lot of that up there is as well, like that top shelf right there. I haven't really decided yet. so. I did move a few books from um, like downstairs on this shelf because that's my horror thriller shelf and then I put a few more from downstairs on this shelf as well. That's my romance shelf. So this is just a mixture. This right there is romance. That is thriller slash like gothic-y fiction. And that right there is just a mix. So it has romance, it has some fantasy, it also has some um, thriller suspense novels. So yeah. So at the moment, ooh, wow, at the moment, that's what that side of the room looks like. Um, I put the little bins right there. Please excuse the floor because it's messy and I don't know what I'm going to do with that corner. But I put the bins right there in front of the window. Oh, right there in front of the window. I don't know if I like it or not, but as of right now, that's where it's going to stay. So I will continue working and show you some more as I get going. And there's Lila. Hello, Lila. Okay, so I took a break from cleaning my office. And I'm going to be eating these. Have y'all ever had these? Because if you haven't, you should go get them. Because they're delicious. They are meatless buffalo dippers. They're vegan. They taste just like chicken. Just like chicken. Even, they, even though it says that they're buffalo, they're not hot. They have like that. Mm, it's kind of hard to explain. Because they're, they're not hot. But, I don't know. Just wanted to show you this because if you haven't eaten these they're friggin delicious so good so good so good there's like 15 that come in here and i eat all of them <laughs> anyways okay bye hey guys so it's a couple of days after i um filmed the first time for my room update or cleaning my room or whatever cleaning my office so i wanted to show you the updated wall where I told you I was going to put my succulent so let me flip you around so this is um where I put my succulents and there's my desk and this little pot right here I am planning on putting more succulents in but yeah so this is the finished product basically of my office for this time around there's some clothes and books but yeah so that is the end of this little cleaning thing I hope you enjoyed it sorry if it was a little boring but I just wanted to keep you updated on how my office was coming and 
all that good stuff. So I hope you have a good day. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. If you want to see any more of these videos, let me know down below. Have you been like cleaning up or redoing your house since, you know, quarantine and all that stuff. We've been stuck in the house for forever. Um, but yeah, so just let me know down below. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye guys.